all right guys welcome back to the channel i'm kern scott impressive media solution today we have an exciting tutorial for you guys i'm going to show you guys how to create afrobeat drum patterns that are in all the popular afrobeat songs afrobeat patterns that are used by all the popular afrobeat artists davito burner boy tyler arista and well the list goes on right today we'll also be learning to use studio one's pattern mode and we'll be doing about three different and popular drum patterns that are in about 80 percent of all the afrobeat songs right we'll start by selecting our tempo now by default personas tempo is 120 bpm but for afrobeat it would usually sit within the 90 to 120 ppm range now there are songs that fall lower and songs that fall higher but for today we'll just stick to 100 right so we'll just point on top of it and we will scroll songboard or if you want to get us click it and punch it in options for different people right now we'll be using personas drum machine impact to place our instrument in and the nice thing about studio one everything is just drag and drop so as we drop it it's already there right let's create a one bar and we'll put a loop over it and we will activate that loop right that's a lot of tutorial that's already happening here guys <laughs> that's a lot of tutorial right so next we'll head over back to our browser section and we will get some samples right now guys disclaimer I don't have any afrobeat sample pack but i'm not going to allow that to stop me from teaching you how to make afrobeats and you should not allow it to <laughs> all right so let's head over to our file section now we have this free cymatic pack here that you could head over and download to learn how to you know just build these afro patterns and when you do buy when you do buy your uh, afro you can just swap all the songs right so we double we click here and today we just keep it simple we just use a clean kick and we will use a, a rim right so there's this and that now guys if you don't want to be constantly having to buy packs then you can buy something like ik multimedia mondo drums and learn how to tune drums so that as a genre come out you can just tune your drums to song like that All right guys and save a lot of money save a lot of money right all right so let's start by actually let's convert this to patterns mode now by default studio one gives us this midi midi track to work with right but today we want to work with patterns mode so to get the patterns mode very simple we're just going to right click convert to patterns and boom right now i want to deattach from this because i'm feeling a bit boxed in we'll click our inspector because we're going to be creating three different patterns within this one this one channel here right this one track actually sorry this one track it's a track all right so let's stretch that out there cool now let's start to make our pattern now actually wait before we even start to make our patterns let me show you how to do the different musical notations here right because right now it's broken up into 16 steps right so this is a whole note that is break up into 16 parts but if we don't want these individual notes and we want other notes this is how we would get it right because we are also learning about the patterns mode here right guys so we're gonna hold long shift and then we're gonna drag this across right this is a whole note this will give us one whole note so if we kick the kick one kick one note right now the other notations we will want like half notes we'll do the same thing shift half the way shift the other half the way so now we have the half note nice and to get quarter we'll be doing the same shift shift 
shift four times because it's four four makeup a whole note boom again delete 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 and for eight notes we'll be doing this and you can just hold it down and shift and raise up and continue right guys you don't have to constantly be clicking but if you want to do it that way then it's all cool all right nice now we can clear it like this we don't have to constantly be coming there we can just clear this whole thing and then for 60 note we can either click here or we can individually click it in nice all right guys so let's get on with uh, get on with this tutorial let's actually get on to the fun stuff the stuff that you have been waiting for all right so for our first pattern right and let me teach you guys how to count these musical notation when it's in 16 16 steps it's counted like this now normally if you're doing quarter notes right it will be counted one two three four right and if you're counting eight notes it's count one and two and three and four and right and for 16 notes it's count one one e and r 2e and r 3e and r 4e and r right so if you hear him saying things like and and r and e then that is exactly what i mean now if you now this is a video guys so if you didn't understand what i said you can just rewind it back until you do get it right so for today we're going to put the kick on one and then we're going to place a kick on the and of three right so this is one two three and this is the and here right guys now for our rim we'll place our rim on the R of one we're going to place it on the end of two we're going to place it on the four and then we will do the end of four so let's hear what our first pattern sounds like And I know you probably heard that that beat in a lot of the Afrobeat songs, right? Now, again, the really cool thing about um, the patterns mode is that we can have multiple patterns within this one track ready for if we need to change it, right? And we'll just call this Afro 1. Next, we call this Afro 2. And next we'll call this Afro 3, right? So we have options of when an artist comes to the studio and they're like, I don't really like that beat. Do you have anything else? You could just basically script through without having to constantly create this over and over, right? Now guys, we have an issue where the rim is a bit loud. So I'm going to show you how to adjust that, right? Now if you come to our mixer and we play our beat we will notice right here that the both songs are coming through the one channel right what we need to do is separate it so we could um level it against each other right so you would come here and then you'll click one of these other boxes and what it will do is boom create the next channel so now we have two songs coming out of two separate channels Now we can adjust it. Nice. 
double click to get back this and we're going to create our second pattern on afro two now for our next pattern we're going to do one two three four this is referred to as four on the floor and for the rim we're going to do one and the R one we will do the end of two then we will use the and of three and we lastly will use four and this will give us our second pattern nice now if this tutorial is helpful and you want to see more tutorials like this guy don't forget to like share and subscribe right now for our third pattern we will again be doing four on the floor and for our rim we will do the rim on one the half one the end of two three the half three and also and finally the end of four this will give us our third most popular afro pattern boom now guys don't forget to comment below which one is your favorite pattern is it afro one is it afro two and afro three right now again from what i was telling you guys like if an artist comes in and you already started to build with one particular pattern it's easy to just switch over in patterns mode from one to the next let's see how this works Alright guys, so let's look at how we could create a variation, right? So let's see if we could create a variation of this one. So to create a variation, this is when we're creating a totally different, a totally different um, sample or drum pattern. And if we're creating a variation, we will highlight which one we want to create the variation with and do duplicate. And we could call this, and we can call this Afro three version two all right and we could change it up a bit by just putting it here and here right so this one will sound like and the original will sound like this all right so let me show you another cool trick that we could do when we use um the patterns mode we could extend it highlight it and cut it we could cut right now there are some songs where people like um certain sections to switch up just to you know not feel like this constant flow people like to you know something unexpected to create that interest so a really cool way to do this is to switch a section right and we could easily do that because we have different variations so we could afrobeat here then we could create a different thing here and then we will leave this cool all right so let's get back to what we were doing and yes this is what we now have okay guys that's our tutorial for today i hope i help you with making your afro beats and using pattern mode in studio one guys guys don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to do it <laughs> 
Impressive Media Solutions. I'm Kern Scott, and guys, we're out.